The following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. This is Beta Leader. I have two armed guards patrolling the above decks. I don't know how many below. You're clear to continue in, but I want each and every position called. There's illegal arms shipments aboard and at least 200 kilos of the biotoxin ricin. Everything points to these people being on the defensive. If they even find out we're in the area, they'll blow the holds and release the toxin into the water system. Are we clear? We copy you, Beta Leader. Beta Leader, they've got the ship rigged. We tripped the switch. They don't know we're here yet. They will soon. Damn it. We're heading in. We need to get on board and stop the detonation of the rice and cargo. Maintain positions. We cannot afford to make any mistakes. Let's go. We need to get inside the ship. Spread out and take it slow. Affirmative, sir. Hostile spotted. Hostile down. All clear. Move forward. Oh. Doors locked. Explosive breach needed. Priming breach charge. Hostile spotted. Take cover positions. Hostile down. Hostile down. Following your lead. Sir. Hunter, hold position here. Yes, sir. Move up. Where the rice will be stored. 
Probably in one of the forward cargo holds. Hostile down. Hustle down. Hostile down. Ryson is released. Could be any minute. We've got to keep moving. Hustle down. We'll have to go this way, sir. squad on their way. They're following you in. I copy. Priming breach charge. They're all dead, sir. What's going on here? It's the ship's original crew. They must have been killed when the ship was taken over. Can you defuse this? If not, I need to know right now. I can defuse it. What do you need from me? Nothing. Once I set up, we'll be good to go. CTU, O'Brien. Chloe. Chase. I've been given a job by car. Do you think they're on to you? No. No, if they were on to me, I'd be dead by now. These guys don't mess around. Whatever they're working on is something big, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Jack. Your status. How much longer? I'm starting now. Stand by. Starting bomb defusal. With this type of bomb, it should be a case of following the master signal back through its relay paths and shorting out the trigger circuitry. Okay, that's the first stage. 
Just one more. That's it, I've done it. Alpha Team Leader, we have defused the detonator. Copy that. Sending in hazmat to take care of the payload. Do you have any eyes on the arms shipments? Negative. Nothing here but empty gun containers. Looks like the ship's already been offloaded. Put the guns away. I said put the guns away! Those are the blueprints you wanted. Now let's talk about where I stand in this organization. We'll tell you where you stand, and if you don't like it, you- I can what? I've been running errands for you for the past year and a half, and I've got nothing to show for it. Now unless I start being cut in, I walk. I know how doing these pissant jobs kills you. I know you want more. You're gonna get more. A buddy of ours, a guy by the name of Ricky Roberts, is gonna be pulling a small hit for us later today. He got together with a group of people, and they've proven to be pretty resourceful. I heard Ricky Roberts moved out west. He did. The hit's going down in L.A. So who pissed you off so much that you've hired some surfer boy convert to kill him? The following takes place between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. I want this taken back to CTU for analysis right now. Dessler. Michelle, I'm sending you a PDA that looks like it's encrypted. I need to know what's on it. I'll put Sean on it as soon as it arrives. This is too sensitive for a rookie. I want someone else on it. I trained Sean. He can do this. And Vice President Prescott will be in Los Angeles for the next three days, whereby he hopes some resolution to the labor disputes will have been reached. Jack. We got the rice and biotoxin, but the arms shipments, they're missing. All right, we got the rice and that's something. I'll talk to the division about following up on the missing weapons. There's nothing more we can do about it right now. Tony, there's something else. We found the entire crew dead in one of the cargo holds. Any idea who gave CTU the tip on raiding the cargo ship? No. All we know is that it was called in from a payphone about four blocks from Los Angeles Harbor. Why, what are you thinking? That this isn't over. A CTU O'Brien. You're planning on assassinating the vice president. Why aren't you calling me on your cell? This line could be tapped. No, I don't have a choice. The bunker I'm in blocks cell signals. Now listen to me. The vice president's in Los Angeles, and they're planning on having him assassinated sometime today. When? I don't know. You need to connect me to Los Angeles CTU. OK, hold on. Chase, you're on with LA CTU. This is Tony Almeida, special agent in charge. Agent Almeida, my name's Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. Now, I've just gotten word that there'll be an assassination attempt on the vice president later today. I need details if we're going to move forward on this. Well, I don't have many details. All I can say is that a man by the name of Ricky Roberts is involved. He's from D.C., recently moved to Los Angeles. Sean? Already on it. Ricky Roberts. Bauer. Jack, we've gotten word from D.C. CTU. There's going to be an assassination attempt on the vice president sometime today. You don't know when? No, but we have an address of someone involved. It's not far from your current position. I'm uploading his information to you right now. Robert Daniels? Apparently he's relatively new to LA, but his connections stem from DC. I'm on my way. I'll let you know what I find. I have Agent Edmonds. Agent Edmonds? What did you find out? We found an address. We have our lead field agent checking it out now. Thanks, we'll let you know how it goes. Take care of this. Wait a minute, that's it? You'll let me know how it goes? Yeah. It's in our hands now. Chloe, are you still there? I need a flight to Los Angeles. You can't do that. Sonia will never agree to it. I'm going around, Sonia. Chase, the phone line's being tapped. <sighs> Damn it! You need to get out of there. I'll send a chopper. Give me 20 minutes to lock down the base and take everyone out. Are you crazy? You need to wait for backup. 20 minutes, Chloe. Personnel be on the lookout for Chase Evans. This is priority one. Sweep all sectors.
Hunters, shoot to kill. How come we're looking for Chase? Target said he's working undercover for some government agency. 20 minutes until breach alert is triggered. What's going on? Huh? Reinforcements to the bunker hub room. What's going on?
reinforcements to purple sector. Hey! I've been looking forward to this chase. Hey! Me too. Damn you, Chase. I trusted you. Just doing my job, boss. I should have trusted Target. Son of a bitch. Lockdown deactivation in two minutes.
need to head to the airport. My orders are... I don't care what your orders are. I need to get to the airport. Yes, sir! The following takes place between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Bauer. Jack, we haven't been able to find any more information on Daniels, so we don't have any idea when he might be leaving the address you have. We're worried he's going to take off soon. How close are you? I'm almost there. You need to hurry. He's the only lead we have right now. I'll be there. Michelle, it's Jack. I'm at Daniel's house. It looks clear. I'm going in. Son of a bitch. Michelle, he's our only lead. Without him, we don't know what the threat is. I can't afford to let him get away. Take him out! Come on, get him!
Thank you, Mr. Edmonds. Your flight will be taking off in about an hour. Good morning, Mr. Vice President. Morning. Dessler. Michelle, it's Jack. Robert Daniels just entered an office building located at 1023 North Bronson. I need the floor plans of the building as soon as I can get them. 1023 North Bronson is right in the heart of the financial district. What's Daniels doing there? I don't know, but I need to find out before he gets to where he's going. We've got building schematics. I'm uploading them now. Okay, thanks, Michelle. It's damaged. Rodriguez here. I'm heading to the loading bay now. I'll be back up in the lobby soon. Okay, don't take too long. Who are you? Intruder! Is Daniels here yet? I'm heading up to the top floor now. I'm gonna want a status update when I get there. Rodriguez, what's your status? Come in, Rodriguez. Hey, man, you seen Rodriguez? He went past here a while ago, but I haven't seen him since. Is there a problem? Don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Who are you? I'm hit! Michelle, the door's got security swipe card protection. I need to bypass it. If it's a simple configuration, you'll see the swipe card's data number appearing in the top panel. You'll need to unscramble the data below to match that code, and then you're in. What was that?
We're at the second floor admin area now, starting the search for the intruder. Let's go. Spread out, guys. Bluebird, what's going on down there? Take Who the you intruder out! No problem, boss. We're on it. Come any closer and I shoot! <clears throat> Jack, we know why Daniels is at that address. It's on the vice president's motorcade route. You need to call Secret Service and have them change the route. Something's blocking the communication signals. We're working on it, but it's going to take more time than we have. There are no other options. You have to find Robert Daniels before Vice President Prescott reaches your location.
What's your status, O'Neill? Ambush set on fifth floor, just left of the elevator. Good. Don't let him pass. We can't afford any mistakes. There's nowhere to run, Daniels! CTU. Federal agent. Robert, it's over! and I want them now. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay. Talk! The following takes place between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Tell me what the plan is! I won't tell you anything! You're involved, that's enough for me. Now start talking! Oh, you know nothing! Start talking. And you have no proof of nothing! Tell me about the assassination. <laughs> you shot me! <laughs> I need a doctor! You know what the plan is! It's nothing to do with me! Please... You, you get the wrong guy! I know who you are, Robert. Your friends turned on you! Nothing! You've got nothing! Talk and we might be able to cut a deal. It's too late! There's nothing you can do to stop it! Snipers, they're on the rooftops! It's too late! There are too many of them for you to stop! I can't help you unless you work with me. It's too late for you to do anything! Tell me about the snipers, Robert. I don't have to answer you.
While you're here with me, yes, you do. I'm telling you nothing. Come on, Robert, this is important. How many snipers are there? Seven. There are seven. What are their positions? I'm not sure. All I know is that they're positioned on rooftops all along the vice president's motorcade route in this part of town. Start talking now! <laughs> You'll never find them. Now give me the location on the snipers! Look, I'm not afraid of you! The snipers, Robert! How do I find them? The roof! They're visible from the roof, but, but you can't access it. The door is electronically locked. Is there a code? You, 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 you do need a code, but, but, but I don't have any idea what it is, I swear! This is your last chance. I want the code. Give it to me now! Uh, it's... It's 603-19... Six eight. I swear that's the code. Six zero three one nine six eight. You realize it's not gonna matter. You're too late. Dessler. Michelle. Daniels told me that there's seven snipers positioned around the vice president's motorcade route. Have you gotten through to Secret Service? No, the signal's still jammed. That's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to take out each sniper individually. You have their positions? No, all I know is that they're in buildings waiting for the motorcade to pass. I'll have Sean see if he can locate them using SatNav-1. Call me when you've got something. Sean, have you ever worked with a satellite vidlink? Everything I've done has been with simulations, just training exercises. I've never... That's good enough. You need to sign on using HMC protocol. There's not much time. Sean, you're going to need to check the buildings in Jack's area. Make sure you scan all the floors. They could be anywhere with a clear vantage point.
Jack's going to need the data soon. Have you found the potential targets yet? Jack needs the target information. You've only got one minute before we upload the data. Not bad, but you didn't thoroughly search all the buildings. We'll send Jack what you got. I'll take over and do a final search. We need to upload this to Jack's GPS immediately. I'm on it. Yeah. Sean's uploading the target info on your GPS right now. You should have it any second. Got it. We've located some potential targets. There wasn't time to do a complete search. I'll let you know if we find anything else. Damn it, Michelle, I need all the locations. Tell me when you've got them. I found new targets for you. Uploading now. Michelle, the motorcade has been attacked. Jack, you've got to keep the vice president and his people safe. Take out those snipers. Jack, I'm uploading more target information.
That's it. All targets have been taken out, Michelle. I repeat, all targets have been neutralized. Good job, Jack. Our flight time to Los Angeles will be approximately five hours. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Almeida. I need medics here right now. We've got people down. It should only be another couple of minutes. Some of these people might not have a couple of minutes. Sir, get back! <laughs> Sir, my name is Agent Jack Bauer. I'm with Los Angeles CTU. Do you understand me? <sighs> yes. Good. That's good. You need to stay awake, sir. Keep your eyes on me. I'm gonna get you to a hospital as quickly as I can. Dessler. Yes. No, that's my fault. Send her in. What's going on? We have an intern starting today. With everything that's been going on, I completely forgot. There's no way we can have an intern starting today. There's too much going on. Our new intern is Kim Bauer. Good morning. Where do you want me? Look, Kim, uh, this isn't the best day for you to start. Oh, OK. Kim Bauer, right? Yes. Great. Glad you're here. Sean Walker. Follow me to the tech room. I'll get you started. The following takes place between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Dessler. Michelle, Daniels has taken off in a stolen car from the assassination site. I'm trailing him onto the freeway. I'll let you know where he leads me. That was Jack. He's shadowing Robert Daniels. Thinks he'll lead him somewhere. Until Sean decrypts that PDA, Daniels is the only lead we've got. Do you want me to pull Sean off the decryption and take over? No, not yet. I've gotten through the blanket encrypt, but it looks like the data was scrambled when the initial encryption took place. We won't know anything until I repair the damaged files and download them to my system. How long will that take? It shouldn't take... Wait a second. Oh, no. What's going on? There must have been a fail-safe mechanism. I need to get the information off this thing in less than seven minutes, or it'll lock down and be impossible to decipher. Okay, I've recovered the files. Now I just need to bypass the file encryption.
That's all I was able to get. The crew manifest I understand, but the photo... Run a cross-reference on the list of dead crewmen that were found on the cargo ship and this new crew manifest. Yeah, I'm on it. Lee Jin Yu. His is the only name that's not on both lists. He's on the crew manifest, but wasn't on the cargo ship. Well, we need to find him. Now. My fellow Americans, six months ago, individuals acting against the United States government attempted to remove me from office through assassination. Another group of individuals tried to take the life of President Prescott. Their attempts failed as well, but his condition at this time is critical. Yeah. I've reconfirmed that the on-record address we were able to find for Lee Jin Yu is obsolete. So you think the paper trail to this liquor store is our best bet? Yu has had three credit card transactions there in the past week, not to mention the weeks prior. The owner of the place is a Mr. Shin. He should know him. Let's hope so. I'm with CTU. I'm looking for this man. Have you seen him? Sorry, sir. I, I don't know him. Look, I know he's been in this shop several times in the last two weeks. Sorry, I, I am new. I have not seen him. Okay. Tell me who else can help me. Mr. Shin. You need to talk to Mr. Shin. Is Mr. Shin the owner? Yes, he's not in trouble, is he? Don't want to get him in trouble. I need to know where Mr. Shin is. It's very important. A man's life is at stake. Mr. Shin is in back rooms, I think. Customer's not allowed in. Let me into the back room. I need to talk to Mr. Shin right now. Okay, okay, I'll let you in. Just don't get me in trouble. Where is he? Mr. Shin, I just want to talk. Go away! Stop! You're not in trouble! Mr. Shin, there's nowhere for you to go. I need you to cooperate. Answer a few questions. Can you do that? Some will say, I'm in no condition to return to office. I say my health is in optimum condition. I say I have never been stronger. I, who have a sworn duty to lead this country in times of peace and in times of war, shall retake my place at the head of government. The following takes place between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. And we are off the air. Mr. President, you did well. I wish I thought so, Kevin. You sounded like your old self. Soon you'll be feeling like your old self. I truly believe you're ready for this, sir. You're growing stronger every day. It's just a matter of time. You know that. You should be one of my advisors. They don't give me pep talks like this. My job is to make you well, sir. That includes helping you in any way I can. Thank you, Kevin. 
Get some rest, sir. This is Michelle. I've got Jin Yu's current address. It's not that far from here. I'm on my way there right now. What's the address? I'll send back up to meet you. 8025 Orion. It may take a team a little while to arrive. That's fine. Have them meet me when they get there. I'll keep you updated. Okay. Almeida. Have you arrived at Yu's apartment yet? I just got here. I managed to find his apartment number for you. It's apartment 628. All right, thanks. Hey, man, you got my stuff? CTU, I put down it. your weapon. Hey, get away! I haven't done anything. No me talk los cojones, huh? Federal agent, take cover! Hands in the air, now! Drop your weapon. Yeah. 
Put your hands where I can see them. Tony, we have a team on their way to your location. Tell them to meet me at Lee Jin Yu's room. I'll call you later and let you know what we find. Okay. Federal agent! CTU! Federal agent! Federal agent! Who are you? Over there! CTU! Intruder! Federal agent! CTU, put down your weapon! Who are you? Hands in the air! Now! CTU! Federal agent! CTU! CTU! Mr. Yu? My name is Agent Almeida. I'm a federal agent with Los Angeles Counter-Terrorist Unit. I need to inform you that I'm taking you into custody. The following takes place between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Dessler. Michelle, it's Jack. I'm in Thousand Oaks at a meat processing plant. It's the base of the men responsible for the vice president's assassination attempt. I'll send a team in right now. Give me the address.
Take him to interrogation room three. Yes, sir. Were you able to pull anything else off that PDA? No, nothing. Whoever encrypted it knew what they were doing. Maybe he can shed some light on this. Almeida. There's gonna be a sarin gas attack on the metro system. Eddie Kane's got four teams on their way now. Who is this? Hello? Did you just transfer a call to my office? No. What's going on? I just got a call saying there's gonna be an attack on the Los Angeles metro system today. Who was it? They didn't say. That's two anonymous phone calls in one day. How serious do you think this threat is? I don't know. Dispatch bomb squads and hazmat teams to each location. Dispatching. I'm going. I'll have a vehicle waiting for you outside. Who's the lead here? I am, sir. Agent Lee Bowen. You have our destination? Yes, sir. All right, we have less than 20 minutes. Ryan Chappelle's here. What? Where's Tony? He's in the field. Why is he in the field? He's the agent in charge. He should be here. It was unavoidable. Is there something I can do for you? You can tell me why I wasn't informed of a Mr. Yu being held for questioning in relation to the cargo ship takedown from this morning. Tony will... When he arrives, you can tell him that I've taken over the questioning. Ryan... Where is this Mr. Yu? Will you show Ryan where Mr. Yu is being held? This is a photo of Eddie Kane. We need to take him as quickly and as safely as possible. Once we have the gas canister, bomb squad and hazmat teams will take over. Is all this clear? All right, let's go get him. Harris, you stay up here. Huh? Help people out of the station. Don't let anyone else in here. making a run for it. Put down your weapon! Put your hands where I can see them! See to you! Put your hands where I can see them! See to you! The canister is in our possession. You are clear to enter. I repeat, the canister is in our possession. 
You are clear to enter. Copy that. Entering now. This is Michelle. Kane's been taken down. The canister's being defused right now. That's the last one. The other three all gave up without a fight. I wish I could say the same for this one. Look, I'm heading back to CTU. I want to see if Lee Jen Yu can shed some light on any of this. Tony, there's something you should know. What's that? Ryan's questioning him already. What? What's Chappelle doing there? He heard about Lee Jin Yu being held for questioning, and he's taken over. OK, look, I'll deal with him when I get back. Sir, the place is deserted. There's no sign of Daniels. Dessler. This place has been cleared out. They knew we were coming. I have more news. I just got a call about the gas canisters from the metro stations. What about them? It wasn't sarin nerve gas. What was it? They were intricate smoke bombs marked as if they were sarin. Has anything else surfaced? Tony brought in Lee Jin Yu, the missing crewman from the cargo ship, about 45 minutes ago. Hey, Jack. I found something. I'll call you back. Mr. Yu, you want out of here. I want you out of here. I can't do that until you tell me everything. You need to start cooperating. Looks like he's been here for a while. A couple days at least. Dog tags. It was a setup. Can you tell me why there's a photo of you and a copy of the crew manifest on this? Yes, it is mine. I, I can give you password. You can see, then you believe me. What is the password? Dessler. The man you think is Lee Jin Yu is an imposter. Whoever's behind this wanted us to find him and take him in. Jack, what are you talking about? Ryan's in questioning Mr. Yu right now. No, we just found Lee Jin Yu's body. He's been dead for several days. You need to place the man you have under arrest, and you need to do it now. OK. Yes. You need to stop the questioning. No, I don't. We're finally. Hello? Michelle? Damn it. What's happening? I'm not sure. I'm headed to the tech room to see if I can reset the system from there. Something's going on at CTU. The comm system is down. The phone system is inoperable. My system uplink is offline. I found the real Lee Jin Yu dead, so the man Chappelle's questioning is an imposter. And the subway attack diverted every available field agent away from CTU at the same time. It doesn't add up. Get everyone back to CTU right now. Something's going on. May I have your attention? Who's in charge? Sir? Hello, Joseph. Hello, Peter. You did well. Let's get to work. The following takes place between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. I think that's all of them. Having the men search again, I don't want any surprises. Yes, sir. You should know that this will not be tolerated. The United... And you should know if you open your mouth again, I'll put a bullet in your head. How long till we can start the transfer? The effects from the low-level electromagnetic pull should break up in two, three minutes at the most. The system won't be up and running for a couple of hours, but we'll be able to access the files we need with the equipment we brought. Is there something I can do to help? No, I'm trying to reset the system. What's happening out there? I don't know. Somehow they bypassed our system, probably with a low-level EM pulse. It killed power to the entire facility, including early warning Why security. Why wasn't the tech room affected? Tech room shielded. We need to get out of here. 
Head to room M3. It's a type of panic room. We'll be safe there. What's the status of the other sectors? I heard in from Garcia a few minutes ago. They have a group of it. CTU! What are you doing here? I'm hit! Stop right there. Thank you, Miss Dessler. Thank you, Miss Desler. I can't go any further without Kim. Come on! Michelle, what do these people want? I don't know, Kim. I'm scared. No. Just stay close. Once we get to M3, we'll be safe. Everywhere. Huh? Miss Desler, help! Who are you? Let's go! 
going on? What are you doing here? I've been shot! Stop right there! You're coming with us. Yeah. Dad, something happened at CTU. There are men with guns. I'm right outside, sweetheart. Are you safe? Yeah, but Michelle was taken away. I think they have everybody. She said there was an EM pulse that took out the system. Kim says they've used an electromagnetic pulse to take out the early warning security. Whoever's in there can take whatever classified information they want. Sweetheart, where are you? A room called M3. Good. Stay there. You'll be safe. It's like a panic room. Once you're locked in, no one will even know you're there. Is Kim the only one not being held? Kim is not putting her life on the line. Now you know as well as I that if that information gets out, a lot of undercover agents' lives are at stake. Kim, we need you to go to the data room. I'll talk you through it. OK, I'm ready. Kim, there's a taser in the room. I want you to take it. You may need it. The data room is on the third floor. So what are Madsen's plans stairwell. now that we're all in CTU? It's not far from M3. Uh, you know Madsen, he likes to keep his cards close to his chest. Sure, I just do what he tells me. It's all for the greater good. Just wouldn't mind knowing a few more details. Tony, the door's locked with a security panel. It looks kind of broken. You should be able to short out the circuit and open the door using your PDA. Tony, I'm on the third floor. Okay. I want you to head to the main server room. You should be able to cut through it. Door's locked. I can't see a way in. All right, you'll have to go another way. Head on into the next room. It's under construction. Tony, there's people here. I'm not sure I can sneak past them. I think that room has air vents. The safest option would be to crawl through them. Okay. I'm in the vents. Good. They'll take you over to the other side of the floor. You've got to be quiet moving through the vents.
I'm out of the vents. Okay. You're doing well. It's not far now. You just need to find a safe route to the bullpen. Hey. Anything going on here? No, nothing. All the remaining CTU agents have been picked up. Good. Let's go make a sweep of the second floor. Okay. on the upper level, but you'll need a key first. There's one on my desk in my office. Okay, I'm here. All right, you should see computer monitors with a security prompt. It looks like data is being uploaded from a secure set of files. You're going to have to override the system and stop the upload by encrypting the main hard drive. The data flow, it stopped. We'll start it again. We're being blocked. Let's get out of here while we still can. We've done what we came to do. Don't tell me what we came to do. I'll let you know when we're done here. By now they know their download stopped. It's not a stretch to assume that they'll start searching every inch of CTU until they find the problem. We can't just rush in there, Jack. It's a hostage situation and... <laughs> you know as well as I do what's at stake. That's why I'm saying we need to... Almeida. Tony, it's Sean. Sean, what the hell's going on in there? Agent Almeida, we have a real problem. Somebody here has something I want, and if I don't get it soon, I'm gonna start making your people drop. We can work something out, all right? I don't want anybody getting hurt. Too late for that. Somewhere in this building is a hard drive that I want, and I will start killing your people one every 10 minutes until I get it. Starting now. Hello? Hello? Dad, they killed Sean! Kim, you need to settle down. They killed him. Why they did want they have the to hard kill drive. Him? What if I put one of the trackers from the data room on the hard drive? I'll turn myself in, and they'll take the drive, and then they won't be tracked. No, listen to me, to Kim. Them. You need to stay where you are. There's no other choice. Yes, there is. Kim. Kim. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Time's up, people. Here.
What's my lucky day? This is it. And what's your name? Kim. Well, Kim, you just saved her life. You have it? We have it. Can they track it? Scan it for trackers. We got one. It's clean. Well, you weren't so smart, were you, Kim? Kim Bauer? Kim Bauer. You found yourself quite a little prize, haven't you? Yeah, and I have plans for her. Don't underestimate Jack Bauer. He's... I know all about Jack Bauer. He's not gonna be a problem. You know where to send the files I want? Don't worry, you'll get them. She's our ticket out of here. Let's go. What about us? What about you? You're not gonna screw us, Peter. some heavy weaponry to take out that chopper. The armory's on the third floor. I should head there first. The passcode for this door should be 710538. Jack, the chopper's less than two minutes out. You better get to the roof.
I don't have time for this. Tony, I'm on the roof, but Madsen's men are here. I'm taking fire. Jack, you should see the chopper any time now. Do not allow it to land. Got what you want, just let her go. I don't think so, Jack. You've destroyed our only way out of here. Now she's the only thing I have to guarantee us leaving here in one piece. You follow, she dies. No! How do you know that agent? He and I have a history. Well, that history could become a problem. As we have his daughter, he's no threat to us. Plans have changed. Tony, they headed down the east fire stairs, but they could be anywhere at this point. All right, we'll head them off. Tony. They've got Kim. Go. I said go.
CTU will have ID'd us. We need to change vehicles. There's a car stashed in an alley off Argyle Avenue. Get us there now. before LAPD blocks the roads. Get a move on. or take a bullet, your choice. Drive faster, I'll shoot you and drive myself. I'm gonna take your head off.
Look, I still have men searching, but it doesn't look good. Has everything been locked down? That electromagnetic pulse took out all of our mainframe TX hubs. I don't care if it downed the entire system. I want... I know what you want, Jack. And I'm telling you that right now it's not possible. We're not even sure which clusters are operational. How long? How long? I don't know. Seven, eight minutes, maybe. Do what you can. to repair the corrupted sectors before we can initiate the reboot. Okay, I'm initiating the reboot. Tony, I'll need the new reboot passcodes. I've got them here. Three, seven, two, zero, zero, nine, two. Eight, nine, one, five, five, six, eight. Now I just need to make sure our system has a clear connection with the primary external network. Things are up and running now. Are we at full capacity? No, there was too much damage. Any sign of them? None. I'm showing there was a breach in the northeast corridor. It's Bauer. Dad? Kim, Kim, where are you? Hello, Jack. What do you want, Madsen? I want you to know that I have your daughter. And that she's safe. You son of a bitch, if you touch her, I'll... You what, Jack? You gonna make me pay? Kill me? I got news for you. My days of taking orders from you are over. What do you want? The only reason your daughter is still alive is because she was smart enough to have encrypted the hard drive before handing it over to me. I now need the hard drive decrypted. 
There are only two places in Los Angeles that can do this quickly without data loss. The first is CTU, <laughs> which we both know isn't running at full capacity. The second is the agency's branch in Los Angeles. Drive there and wait for my next call. And Jack, the clock is ticking. <laughs> The following takes place between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. His real name is Joseph Sin Chung, Korean-American. He's a technical expert specializing in circuit technology. One arrest six years ago for breaking and entering, got probation. Other than that, looks like he's kept his nose clean. Or was too smart to be caught. What do you want, Madsen? Ah, uh, you haven't changed a bit, Jack. You're still the same old patriotic son of a bitch you always been, risking your life for people who could give a rat's ass about you. Let me ask you a question. Has it paid off? Huh? Are you where you thought you'd be after all these years? Yes. Why do I find that hard to believe? I don't care what you believe. Well, you should. I have your daughter. And to be honest, if I were you, I'd be a little more than worried. I'm sure she's a good sport, though, eh, Jack? If you touch her, I'll kill you. Pipe down, Jack. You had your chance eight years ago, and you didn't take it. You didn't kill me then, and you can't kill me now. Even if you got the opportunity, I don't believe you'd take it. You know why? Because you haven't changed. Eight years, and you haven't changed one bit. I mean, sure, you play by your own rules. You always have, but at the end of the day, when all the smoke's cleared, you still have to answer to the people who signed your paycheck. Isn't that right, Jack? Eight years ago, my family wasn't involved. Is that the line that I have to cross? Uh, what about due process? What about being innocent until proven guilty? What about all that crap that you so desperately fight for? Let me talk to my daughter. That's not an option. You know that. Just knowing your daughter... I'm outside the agency building. When you enter the building, you'll need to find a data terminal. Use it to access the directory files. You must find the directory file that will give you access to the decryption program I need. What's the file name? 43prog.dcr. I'll give you more information once you have the program in your possession. One more thing. It's up to you on how you get in. But if you're caught, your daughter dies. I'll be in contact. This is a high security building. They'll never let me in. Looks like you're gonna have to be creative. I'm visiting your office. I need a visitor's pass, please. Oh, are you with the interdepartment tour? Yes, I'm with that tour. You're running a bit late. They've already gone through. I got held up at the airport. Did you get stuck in security? It's been pretty tight there recently. How long ago did the tour head through? Only a few minutes ago. Since I'm already late, can I please just have my pass? Your pass? Ah, this must be it, Mr. Linnell. Yes, Mr. Linnell. Okay, well, here's your pass. We don't allow visitors to take weapons into the building. You can hand in any weapons to me. Here's my handgun. Thank you. Now you're all set to go. As you can see, the building has been recently refurbished. Ah, here's our missing group member. Well then, let's move on, shall we? Follow me. Oh, you joined a tour group. Nice thinking. Now don't do anything stupid that's gonna get your daughter killed. You're gonna collect some things from me. Stay with the group for now. Okay, let's stop here for a moment. Okay, Jack, here's your first task. Get over to those staff lockers under the balcony. 
Don't draw this any attention to yourself. I need you to find an ID card. Here, Head to the middle bank of lockers. It's in one of them. People, although we've not had the chance to the use it to that capacity. Is eight, we have nine, a state-of-the-art high-resolution video screen nine, on the wall above one. the podium. Take a few minutes to explore and then we'll continue on. Okay, people, gather around and we'll continue on. Is everyone here? Okay, that's everyone. Please follow me. We'll stop here, just outside the security manager's office. Get into the security manager's office and access the computer. We have a nice computer. view of the briefing hall from here. Now this floor is where our human resources management are housed. We use the newly developed HR 3000 software to track the comings and goings of our staff, log their working hours... Okay, Jack. Access the level 4 security staff log and add the name on your badge to the list. How all our staff are performing and identify any problems as early as possible. This software helps us to do that and to date has been working very effectively. We'll break for a moment before moving on. Okay, are we ready to move on? I'll just do a quick head count. Good, that's everyone. Follow me. seen by any security cameras when you're not with the group. Let's make another stop. Jack, you need to take the security card from one noticed, of the guards. How you get it is up to you. Floor. Remember, your daughter's life is on the line here. stage of the tour, we'll be going past the offices of some of our field agents. I'm sure you'll understand if we don't go in and disturb them. Let's hold here for a moment before heading off. Shall we move on? Okay, is everyone here? Good, let's go. All that time I took orders from you, how does it feel to be on the receiving end for a change?
Kim's a pretty girl, Jack. One of my men's already taken quite a shine to her. And that concludes the tour. Feel free to take advantage of our cafeteria. If you have any questions, I'll be here for the next half hour. Use the elevators through the far the door group here, Jack. Leave. Thank you for visiting us. We need to get into the high security area. You should have everything you need to get past the guard. Uh, sir, I need to see your security pass. Okay, that all seems in order. Now let me make sure your name's on my access log. Oh, right, here it is. David Linnell. Huh. I haven't seen you before. Do you, uh, know your way around? Yes, I'll be fine, thank you. All right, then. Have a nice day. You're doing well, Jack. You need to get a sat link cable from the equipment room. in has equipment monitored by heat sensors. Unless you keep moving, your body heat will raise the temperature and trigger an alarm. Download the decryption program from the tech room. Plug in your PDA and copy over the program. Make sure no one sees you while the file is copying.
Now hook your PDA up to the base terminal of the satellite dish. Ready to upload? To avoid being tracked, I will ask you to change frequency while the program uploads. Now, enter the following frequency. 4582913458291 Thank you, Jack. My father will find me. Willie, really? program's been uploaded. Start the decryption. Very good, Jack. Your assistance won't be needed any longer. Thanks for your help. Where's my daughter? With me. I know it kills you to think about what I could do to her. I swear to God, Matson, if you touch her... You better be careful, Jack. You're in a very precarious position. You better hope I'm not the one who finds you. You don't scare me, Jack. The following takes place between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Tony. I'm showing an L code 197 at the agency's LA branch. It's a high level security breach. Almeida. Tony. Jack, where are you? We just received an alert that there's been a system breach at the agency building downtown. I know. I'm the reason for the alarm. What are you doing there? Madsen called me, told me I had to upload decryption software to crack the hard drive. It'll be several hours before they can decrypt the drive. We'll have it back in our possession by then. Besides, he has Kim. I know that, Jack, but. Tony, now is not the time to lecture me on national security protocol. I don't like this, Jack. All right, what do you need from us? I need you to trace an IP address. See what you can pull from it. The address is 292.69.3.50. All right, got it. I'll call back when I'm out of here. There! We have the assailant in sight. Exterior, main floor, entrance.
Watch out! Tony, it's Jack. Were you able to find anything on that IP address? Chappelle found out. He's given strict orders not to follow through on the trace. Is that Jack? Jack. Ryan, why did you order CTU to stop the trace? You broke into a government building and illegally uploaded restricted software to a terrorist organization. That goes against everything CTU stands for, and that makes you one of them. Ryan, I had no choice. The decision... You did have a choice, and you made the wrong one. Now get back to CTU. That's an order. I'm sorry, Ryan. I can't do that. Jack! I want Bauer here. Now. Sir, this is Post 3. We got company coming in fast. What are you talking about? Several trucks. Looks like they're headed for... Okay, Superboy. Here's your chance. You get to the water tower and see what you can do. I want whoever's busting in wiped out! Chase, he's on the water tower. Get him! and help defend the main building.
quickly. They're closing in. Cover Spread out. Who were those guys? They were men who worked for Sid, a former associate of ours. Peter shot him when we were at CTU. This was them getting back at us. No. What? It was hit! The synchronizer? It's useless now! This can be taken care of. How? We have less than five hours! How can this be taken care of? We'll be back in 45 minutes. Dessler. Michelle, it's Jack. Jack, if Chappelle finds out I'm talking to you... You know I can't find Kim without your help. What do you need? Madsen had a wife. Her name's Donna. I think she'll be able to lead us to Madsen. She used to live in an apartment complex in Covina. Hmm, nothing in Covina. I'll check postal records, see if there were any change of addresses filed for her. I found a D. Madsen. Used to live in Covina. Now she's in Whittier. 2317 Avalon Boulevard, apartment 14. That's it. I'll upload it to your GP. The following takes place between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. I'm a federal agent. I need to ask you a few questions about your husband. Peter? I haven't seen that son of a bitch in over a year. Here, this is it. The synchronizer will be located in one of the secure labs. Guards will be all over the place, so be careful. If you take too long, I'll come in after it myself, and you don't want me doing that. Hey, Melissa. I'm headed home now. Here's my door card. Dr. Phillips finally letting you go? Yeah, we finally got the project working. See you next week. Okay, bye. Hey, watch out! Can I help you? Yeah, I've got an appointment with Dr. Phillips. I don't have any appointments on the books. It was very last minute. I'll have to go and check the log. Wait here, please.
watch out! Chase, did you locate the device yet? I'm getting there. The place is crawling with security. Well, don't piss around. We're on a schedule here. Hey! Yeah, okay. You take much longer. You don't work here. I'll be there myself to hurry things along. Security to North Research Wing. Security to North Research Wing. Retinal scanner. There's no way to fake my way past it. I'll have to hack my way in.
You met Melissa on reception yet? Yeah. Tell me about it. Just don't tell my wife I think so. I'll never hear the end of it. Stop right there! Good work. Let's get back to the base. Can I ask you a question? Now, what's gonna happen in another five hours? The downfall of Los Angeles. The following takes place between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. What's so important about that thing? You ever heard of seismic deformation? This has to do with earthquakes? It doesn't just have to do with earthquakes. It is earthquakes. The people of Los Angeles have no idea what a night they're in for. Who are you? My name's Jack Bauer. I'm a federal agent. I need to talk to you about Peter. He's dead. You and I both know he's not dead. I don't know where he is. Now, if you'll excuse me. Donna. Maybe you didn't understand. I want you... I want you out of my home. Oh. Damn it. He staged an attack on Los Angeles CTU and killed dozens of people. Innocent people. I need you to help me before he kills more. Fine.
I need to find Peter. Can you tell me where he is? That bastard! I hope he's in hell! You have to start telling me what you know. You think I'm holding back? I don't know where he is. That's the truth. Please, I need you to focus. People's lives are at stake. Now tell me, where can I find Peter? I don't know, and I don't care either. He wasn't a husband. He was a monster. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Where can I find Peter? I don't want to talk about him anymore. Where is he? Talk to me, damn it! Someone must know, so tell me where to find Peter. Yeah, there is someone. His name's Del Toro. But he's just as bad as Peter. Tell me about Del Toro! I've told you too much already. He'll kill me if he finds out. If you want help, you need to start talking now. Don't you think I try getting help? I'm beyond help. Donna, I need you to start talking to me now. I, I can't talk about this. Please leave me alone. Who is this Del Toro? He's my dealer. I'm not proud of it, but that's who he is. Donna, tell me about Del Toro. I want you out. If he finds you here, I'm dead. If you want to get back at Peter, you'll answer my questions. What's the connection? They, they used to trade guns for drugs. And when Peter left, I was stuck with Del Toro and a heroin habit. You'll know where to find Peter? That's what I said, isn't it? But you'll never make it past his men. There's no way. Please, Donna, I need you to hold it together. Just help me find Del Toro. If you go after him, you're a dead man. Donna, you need to tell me where I can find Del Toro. I'm not leaving until you help me, so the best thing you can do right now is to cooperate. My head hurts. Look, I'm tired of talking about this. Where is he? Downtown! He's downtown! You're gonna be okay, just talk to me. This is pointless! Just go away! There's not much time. Where downtown? He he operates out of out of an abandoned apartment building. Come on, I need an address. Tell me where he is. I I don't know the address. It, it's on Eighth and Pine somewhere. You're looking for trouble, Jefe? I'm here to see Del Toro. He know you're coming. I want to see Del Toro. That's him. That's Del Toro. You are a big help. Did you hear about Seek to you punch you down your weapon?
over there! Drop your weapon! It's Bauer. Jack, I've got the blueprints you asked for. Thanks, Michelle. Jack, try not to hurt anybody. You're in enough trouble with Chappelle as it is. I'll update you when I locate Del Toro. Put down your weapon! to you. to you. I can see them. Federal agent. Looking for some action? Pesa piccolo. I'm the one you're after. Now what do you want? I want to know about Peter Madsen. I don't know any Peter Madsen. Ah! Peter Madsen! I need to take a leak. I'll be right back. Fine. Listen to me. 
because we don't have a lot of time. I work for CTU. Why should I believe you? These guys have something big planned, and I just found out what it is. Here. I need you to call CTU. Let them know that the terrorist group that took over CTU is planning to cause a major earthquake. I... Now, I'll get you to a place where you can dial out and... What do I say? Tell them it's an RGO 4444 synchronizer. It's going to trigger the quake sometime before 10 p.m. CTU should be able to lock onto the signal. You got it? Yeah, I got it. She needs to go now. Let her go on a cell. I don't want to have to walk back up there. I'll take her. Unlock the cell. Don't worry. She won't be out of my sight. Yeah, I bet. Look, there's no cell phone reception down here. You have to find a place of a signal. Keep it short. We don't have a lot of time. Where's the girl? The following takes place between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Bauer. I just spoke to Kim. Where is she? Is she all right? She's at Madsen's compound, but she's not sure where it is. She sounds all right. They're holding her captive, but she was able to sneak away to make the call to us. Someone on the inside claiming to be with CTU told her Madsen plans on using some sort of synchronizer to set off a major earthquake. What information do you have on the synchronizer? Kim gave us the make and model of it. It's carrier wave base. That's all we know right now. We're still doing analysis. There's something else. Kim took a tracking device with her when she was taken from CTU. Unfortunately, it only has short range. Send me the signal frequency. I know where to look. Sorry I'm late. This is Dr. Jennifer Wright from the Geological Survey Agency. So, you've been briefed on what we're up against. It's frightening, to say the least. So something like this might be possible? Is possible. Los Angeles has been built on a series of fault lines. Some of these lines cross forming tectonic focal points. These are the points that would be most vulnerable to such an attack. And where are these focal points located? I'm sending you a survey map now. If somebody were to try to cause such an attack, what would be their best chance of succeeding? Probably large concentrations of explosives set at major focal points. The explosives would have to be buried extremely close to the focal points, which are deep below the Earth's surface. Only industrial machinery would be capable of doing this, and machines that size aren't easily hidden. Unless the machinery doesn't have to be hidden. Michelle, we need to cross-reference the focal points with existing construction sites with drilling capabilities. Also, see if the frequencies from the synchronizer can be pulled from any of the areas. I'll start the search now. Thank you for your help, Dr. Wright.
I have 17 locations where the construction sites with hydraulic drills overlap the tectonic focal points. Only eight of those show carrier frequencies that match the synchronizer. Those are the sites. Dispatch teams. I want this taken care of now. We'll have a new tech arriving in about 45 minutes. He'll be taking over Sean's work. I want him apprised of everything. Okay. This is Jack. Jack, it's me. I wouldn't have called you, but some, something's going on. What? What are you talking about? I, I'm being watched. The same car keeps passing the house. I'm... Did you call CTU or the police? No, you're the first person I called. Lock the doors. Call the police. I'll be over as soon as I can. layout of Matson's compound for you. Thanks, I'm heading in now. I'll get back to you as soon as I've got Kim. Dave, Manson wants me to help with the girl. Don't need it. We've already moved her to the incinerator building. She's a struggler, but nothing I couldn't handle. Okay, you got it.
Security alert. So what's your story? You've only been a part of this group for what, like a half a day? Something like that. Dave? Dad! It's okay, Kim, you're gonna be fine. You're CTU? Yeah, who are you? Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. What's going on? None of the teams are finding anything, not even the construction sites. What? How is that possible? I don't know. All right, tell them to keep searching. We're running out of time. How deep undercover are you? How much do they trust you? I'm new to the group. Why? They have something, a hard drive. They got it from the CTU raid. If the information on that hard drive gets out, lots of agents' lives will be in danger. I'll keep an eye out for it. You need to get to the other side of the base. The following takes place between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. We haven't been able to find any of the bomb sites yet, but our teams are... Yes, sir. I will, sir. Yes? I'm Adam Kaufman. I'm supposed to report to... Uh, sorry. I'm uh, Michelle Dessler. Everything's pretty hectic right now. Uh, you should set up over there. Okay. Do you know KS protocol? I was trained on it at Northern Division. Great. Let me show you what I need you to do. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, not too badly. Come on, sweetheart. Stay here. What are you doing here? Federal agent. Come on.
I'm hit! Intrude bastard! I can't go any further without Kim. CTU.
CTU. Over here. Gessler. We made it out of the base. We're headed back into town. Madsen's men are right behind us. Okay, give me a minute. I'll see if we can help. They've set up a roadblock just ahead. I've got a CTU chopper heading your way. Thanks for the heads up. Michelle, I've got Kim. We're headed back from Madsen's base. How are the bomb teams doing? They haven't found anything yet. None of the fault lines intersect with any of the construction sites. Keep at it. Madsen's going through with the plan, so the bombs are there. A DCCTU agent by the name of Chase Edmonds is still at the Burbank compound. He's gonna... You're calling from Burbank? Yeah, why? I'm picking up your signal from close to Pasadena. How is that possible? Let me refresh my system. Mm, something's wrong. Now your signal's originating from Canoga Park. The system's been compromised. When Madsen infiltrated CTU, he must have placed a scrambler on the system to make sure we couldn't locate the bombs if we found out about them. But a scrambler? That would have to be hardwired in order for it to operate. The system would have picked it up. No, it wouldn't have. The electromagnetic pulse disabled the security. He could have done anything he wanted to the system. I'll have a level 12 diagnostic initiated immediately. I'll call you back.
I've completed the system scan. What did you find? It looks like there's a signal screen hooked into the sat-nav system. Well, that explains why our teams can't find the locations of the bombs. The satellite's skewing the locations. The maps are wrong. Wait a second. Oh, this isn't good. What? I think when I did the system scan, the signal screen initiated some sort of countdown. The signal screen has a self-destruct timer. If that thing goes off, it'll fry the system and we'll never find the bomb locations. That's it. Reboot the system and sync the locators with SatNav 2. Jack. Ryan, I'm sorry to have to do this, but I need you to come with me. Kim, go wait in my office. Dad, I. Kim, please. You know I did what I did because I had no other choice. And you know I wouldn't have broken into the agency if I didn't have to. That doesn't change that it was against regulations, not to mention against national security. I can get these guys, Ryan. I've been to their base. I know what they're capable of. Now, if you want to take me away and hold me for questioning, fine. But it's a mistake, and you know it. I'll answer for my mistakes after. But right now, you're wasting what little time we have by keeping me away from doing everything I can to stop these guys. Fine. But don't think this is over. Thank you. The following takes place between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. What have you found? Not much. The system needed to be rebooted from the main grid. We're waiting for the locators to be synced with SatNav 2. We have an open channel. I'm starting the search. Okay, Adam, I've uploaded the trigger mechanism's radio frequency into the system, so all you need to do now is locate the frequency emitters and lock onto their positions. Adam, you need to hurry. We need that information now.
We're showing 10 sites. We only have eight teams in the field. I'm going with them. Have the locations uploaded to my GPS. I'll lead one of the teams. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. It's the only way we can take out the two remaining sites in time. The teams are ready and waiting for you. A bomb squad will meet you at each site. Now, you have the decryption software. What's the problem? It's going to take time to decrypt the hard drive. I told you that. How much longer? A couple hours, at least. You shouldn't lose your temper, Peter. Don't forget who you work for. I don't work for you. Are you Grant? Yes, sir. Agent Tony Almeida. Let's get in there. We don't know how much time we have. Reed and Parker, you stay here. Cover the entrance. Grant, you're with me. What was that? Hey! CTU! Agent Almeida, what exactly are we looking for? The bomb will most likely be on or near the deep drilling equipment. According to our satellite imagery, the equipment is on the far side of this site. Hey! 
That's not the bomb. No, it's the detonation timer. These wires run down to the bomb. Can you cut the wires and disconnect it? That might trigger it. I'll need to disable the timer, then we can deal with the bomb. Dessler. We defused our bomb. How are the other teams faring? You're the first to report. The synchronizer has only one carrier frequency, which means all the bomb detonation times are going to be the same. Alert the other teams. They have a little under 35 minutes left. Bauer. Tony's team defused their bomb. The others are set to go off in a little over half an hour. OK, I'm almost there. I'll call you back. Agent Bauer? Yes. Agent Evans, bomb squad. This is Agent Landis. We have about 30 minutes to defuse this. We need to get in there now. Ready. Everybody down! You take your team over there. You're no good to me dead. Head up into the building, see if I can take out this blockade from the other side. Should get a good view from here.
Agent Bauer, we're under heavy fire. We need you to neutralize those snipers. There's nothing more I can do from here. I need a new vantage point before I can clear out. Should get a good view from here. Sniper's neutralized. Evans, I'll meet you in front of the building. Once we find the bomb, you won't have a lot of time. You'll need to work fast. We're used to pressure, Agent Bauer. Bauer. Nine teams have called in. You're the last one. How close are you? We haven't reached the bomb yet, and we've come under fire. I'll send in a backup team. They won't get here in time. I'll call you when the bomb's been defused. I need to stay with the team. What are you doing? 
doing here? Bastard! There. Nine minutes. No problem. Get down! I'll cover you while you defuse the bomb. I don't know if I can. You can do this. You need to do this. Good work. Finish that up. I think we're clear to head back to CTU. Dessler. That's it. We defused the final bomb. We're headed back to CTU once we've got it contained. Oh, that's good news, Jack. We'll see you I'm when... still picking up the carrier frequency from Jack's site. Jack, we're still showing the bomb as being live. We need to get out of here. I only have two more bolts to There's remove. There's another bomb. What? There's a second bomb here somewhere. Both are feeding from the same carrier frequency, so CTU could only detect one signal. We're getting out of here now. following takes place between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. Ryan, I have Jack on line one. Jack, what the hell happened? 
There were two bombs. We defused the first, but didn't find out about the second until it was too late. All this was caused by one bomb? One bomb. Well, when will you be back at CTU? We need help analyzing the damage structure, and we need to start working up a plan to go after Peter Madsen. I'll be there in a half hour. This is the Los Angeles Emergency Broadcast System. All updates from the LAPD and other emergency services will be relayed on this frequency. A subway train has been derailed during the earthquake. The tunnel in the Financial North District collapsed, causing the derailment. The earthquake, which struck a little before 10 p.m., was recorded as measuring 8.7 on the Richter scale. The governor of California, James Radford, is currently missing. Last seen touring the east end of Los Angeles, his car hasn't been located since the earthquake. There are reports of outbreaks of civil disorder around the city. Emergency services are responding where possible. Hey, watch out! Jack, it's Kate. I, I was headed to my father's house on the subway when the tunnel collapsed. The whole train jumped off the track as we entered the Faye Street station. We're stuck down here. I need your help. Please. <gasps> services personnel are required to report to their local headquarters. Last reports place Governor Radford at Leak D Plaza. Civil disobedience is rampant in this area. Power is out in most districts. Emergency evacuation plan Gamma should be put into operation. Jack? Is that you? Hello, Miss Warner. Where's Jack? As far as I'm concerned, Jack's dead. Ugh! Let her go, Madsen. I don't think so, Jack.
It won't open. our escape. The following takes place between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. Almeida. How close are you to Leakty Plaza? Not far, why? We just received a call from LA Patrol. All right, look, I'll head over there now, see what I can find. He'll be here soon. Kill him. Take him out and then radio me and I'll have another assignment for you then. I don't want to hear from you unless Jack Bauer's dead. Do you understand? There was no way I could have saved her. Not without blowing my cover. No, you did the right thing. We need to get the hard drive and that can't happen unless you're on the inside. What are your orders? Madsen. Go ahead. It's done. Jack Bauer's dead. That's good news. Now I need you to find a vehicle and go to 62837 West Vista Road. Okay. Let's go. I'm with CTU. 
What happened here? They, they took the governor, and they, they went down there. broadcast of the governor's hostage situation. That is the last thing we need. You'll have to be careful if you're being filmed. Don't take any risks. I won't. And it looks like we have some action for you here. There appears to be a hostage situation in downtown Los Angeles. A man is being dragged through these alleyways by an unknown assailant. We have unconfirmed reports that the hostage is in fact... CTU! Doing you now just spotted what appears to be someone... See to you! officer pursuing the hostage. Stay with the action as it happens, live on KCA. Federal agent! Federal agent! Who are you? Stop right there! Federal agent! CTU! The agent has just disappeared into a building. Stay with us. It seems that the robbery Federal occurring agent. below us is about Drop to be halted weapon. by area police. CTU! What was that? See to you. What's that? Federal agent. You are live with us from downtown L.A., where we are tracking a hostage situation which may involve Governor Radford. More news as it happens on KCRD, live from Los Angeles. What are you doing? CTU, drop your weapon. CTU! Put down your weapon. Federal agent! I'm hit! Ah! Who are you? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! has just now entered into the Nexus nightclub. Let's hope the situation can be resolved without bloodshed. Governor Radford, are you all right? Go away! Radford can't talk right now! This is Federal Agent Tony Almeida. You need to open this door and release the governor right now. Over his dead body! Damn it, let him go! Don't hurt me, please! 
Listen, you need to calm down before you do something you'll regret. I don't take orders from you! I'm the one in charge here! Come on, talk to me. Go away! Tell me what you want. Then maybe we can work this out. I want Radford to pay for what he's done! Please, think about this. Don't come in here! Or I'll kill him right now, I mean it! Everything will be okay, just tell me what you want. It's my son. He's, he's sick. I just want him taken care of. Or Radford is gonna die! Look, there are other ways to deal with this. We just need to find them. I have tried everything! There is no other way! So your son is sick. I'm sorry. But I still don't see the problem here. What's wrong with him? His lungs. They don't work right anymore. Well, this isn't gonna help the situation. Thanks to Radford, I've got no health benefits anymore. And without them, Zack will never get better. Unless he fixes it real soon, the governor here is gonna die! Look! We can work something out! I've tried working it out! I want my son to get better and I'll do whatever it takes! Just give yourself up! I promise your son will be taken care of! I just don't know. I have your word, right? Doing the right thing. What the hell do you know about doing the right thing? Hey, calm down. Just calm down. Think of your son. If you care about him, you'll do the right thing. I don't know. I just don't know. Please help my boy. <laughs> so messed up, man. This is so messed up. You're doing the right thing, son. Are you okay, sir? Did he hurt you? A few scrapes, that's all. Please, no questions. No questions, not right now. I will say, as I look around, I see destruction. This is a sad day, not only for Los Angeles, but for all of California. The following takes place between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. The base is around the next corner. Sir? Let him in. Here. You got balls, kid. You've earned yourself a second chance. Come. You should be resting, sir. It's my hand. Well, let's take a look. Why isn't this healing? It's going to take time. There's something else. What is it, Kevin? It's your heart, sir. The primary arteries are relapsing as a result of the serum rejection medication. What does this mean? It means your body is fighting the medication because your stress levels are up. That means no televised addresses, no public appearances, nothing. 
Chase, we need to get that CTU hard drive back. Where will it be? Lab's locked using a high security card scanner. I don't have a scan card and we won't be able to hack past it. That's one of Sin Chung's hackers. Follow him, wait until he's in a quiet spot and take a scan card. We've gotta get that CTU data back. Hey man, you with Madsen? Yeah. Uh, I think he went over to the old Harris building. Don't know why though, there's not much in there. Hey man, are you okay? Not bad. There's been a lot of activity here today. Not surprising with everything that's been going on. I'm just glad we're stationed out here and not anywhere near the city. Sorry, buddy. This will get us in. What about the security cameras? I'm gonna take care of them now. I'll radio you when you're clear. Clear, Jack. Copy that. Done decoding those Fort Lesker files? Yeah, just saving them now. What is that place? I think it's some kind of military facility. Why does Sin Chung need them? Don't know, but probably best not to ask. You hear they got some woman held in the old Harris building? Yeah. What's the deal with that? Don't know. Must be important, though. Madsen wouldn't waste his time with her if she wasn't. 
I guess not. He's a bit of a loose cannon, though, if you ask me. Careful what huh? you say. You don't want to piss him off. You heard what happened to that Sid guy. Chase, what's your 20? I'm still in security. Do you see any feeds coming in from the lab? One second. Yes. It looks like there's one feed. It's coming from the hard drive. It's hardwired into the system. If I disconnect it, the alarm will sound. Is there any way to bypass it? I don't think so. If you pull it, the lab will lock down and you'll be cornered. I've got to pull it. It's the only option. Be ready for the worst. Jack, we have got company headed to A. I'll be right there. Jack. Chase, let's get out of here. What was that? Take this. Get it back to CTU. I need to find Kate. Are you sure? Yeah, go. The following takes place between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m.
Jack, the main entrance is too heavily guarded. I'm gonna find a different way out. Okay, just get that hard drive back to CTU. I will. Are you hurt? No, I'm just shaking up. Sir, I'm on the Harris building roof. He's on the train tracks and I have a beat on him. As long as the hard drive isn't damaged, shoot to kill. They're going to kill a CTU agent who has information that must not fall into the hands of these men. What are you going to do? Keep the door closed. I'll be back. I'll be back, I promise. Damn it! Stop fighting me, bitch. I need you, but you're beginning to make me rethink how much. Stop it! Please! The following takes place between 2 a.m. 
and 3 a.m. Dessler. It's Jack. Chase is on his way back to you with the hard drive. You're not with him? No, Madsen had Kate Warner, so I split off to find her. They have Kate? She's gone. Madsen has her. They got away. Send a chopper over to the West Vista Road location. Almeida. Tony, it's Adam. I have someone insisting on being transferred to you. She says it's important. Who is it? I don't know. She wouldn't say. All she'd tell me was that she had vital information regarding the governor and that she needed to speak with you personally. All right, patch her through. This is Tony Almeida. Who am I speaking with? My name is Kathy Weiss. I have information you need. What kind of information? I can't tell you over the phone. It has to be in person. Listen, I don't have time. I'm putting myself in danger just being on the phone with you. I need you to meet me. Where? Fisher Pier, 20 minutes, and I want protection. I won't tell you anything unless I get protection. Michelle is chased, my vehicle's been totaled, and I've been injured. I can't figure out where I am. Okay, Chase, I have your location. There's an old sawmill near you. There'll probably be a first aid kit there. I'll upload maps to your PDA. Thanks, Michelle. I'll get back with the hard drive as soon as I can. Continue to sweep the area. Reload! 
reloading. You think you can beat me? Not a chance! You're nothing but a punk who thinks he can shoot! This is Virgil. The truck he wanted is ready. You need to send a driver to 34002 West Lassen. Agent Almeida? What is it you brought me here for? I work for Governor Radford. How does this involve CTU? About two months ago, I came across a threatening email on our server. Governor Radford is involved in terrorist activity. That doesn't make sense. But I know he's involved. Okay, look, this is my key card. It'll give you access to restricted areas like the governor's temporary office.
Agent Edmonds, you've been causing quite a stir in the short time you've been in Los Angeles. I've been on the phone with your agent in charge. It seems you haven't been given leave to come to Los Angeles. Ryan, Agent Edmonds has helped this case more Agent than... Agent Edmonds has overstepped his authority. He'll be on the next flight to Washington, D.C., and that is an order. I don't know what condition it's in, but here it is. Chase can't go back right now. There's too much going on, and he knows how the other side works. He also just delivered the hard drive to us. That's got to count for something. That doesn't matter, Jack. What matters is he came to Los Angeles without telling his superior. You know I wouldn't ask if I didn't think that there was real merit in him being here. Fine. But as soon as this is taken care of, I want him on a plane back to D.C. Thank you, Ryan. I heard what you said. Thank you. You're a good agent. your hands where I can see them. Put your hands where I can see them. Son of a bitch. No power. Engaging! Oh. 
Bradford's involved. Hello, James. I've been
been watching the news. You're making quite an impression on the public. We have to meet. Fine. There's a place called Cherry's Diner just past Vasquez Rocks. Dessler. I just found out Radford's connected to Madsen and Chunk. How is that possible? I don't know, but I have a photo that shows them together. There's a fourth man in the picture I don't recognize. Also, I need you to find Radford for me. OK, where do I start? All government vehicles have anti-theft tracking systems installed. I need you to tap into Radford's system, tell me where he is. I have a few questions I need to ask him. The following takes place between 3 AM and 4 AM. James. What is it you wanted to see me about? I'm done. I want out. There's too much heat. But you've accomplished so much. Your goals are within reach, James. I don't care about those goals anymore. I don't want to be a part of this. And you, I want nothing to do with you. I'm the one that's going to make you the president of the United States, not you. You think you can get there without me? After everything I've done, the sacrifices I've made, I own you. I've covered my ass, man. I have enough on you to put you away several lifetimes over, and it's ready to be released. I want out now. This is over. I underestimated you, James. Yes, you did. James, this is Mandy. Michelle Radford's been killed. What? He had a meeting with the fourth man from the photo. We need to get the body back to CTU. Dessler, this is Kate Warner. Kate, are you in immediate danger? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. You can't let them know you were free. Just stay there and let us come for you. Now, I need you to keep this line open so we can run a trace and figure out where you are, okay? Okay. This is Radford's laptop. We need to get everything off of it as soon as possible. I'll get right on it. He goes by Max. Probably an alias. We don't know his last name. Look at this. Max is the one responsible for the assassination attempt on Palmer as well as the nuclear bomb being brought into the United States. It looks like he's also the one responsible for organizing the vice president's assassination attempt this morning. Madsen works for him. Wait, go back. There, Warner Industries. What does Warner Industries have to do with this? Kate, they're forcing Bob Warner to deal. They're holding Kate over his head, making him do something he doesn't want to do. Warner Industries is an international shipping corporation. My guess is this guy Max needs to get something out or into the country. But what? I don't know yet. It's got to have something to do with that military facility. Have you been able to pull anything from it? Fort Lesker is an abandoned military base in the desert northeast of town. Nothing's been there for close to a decade. There's no such thing as an abandoned government facility. Something's going on there, and I need to know what it is. I'm headed for the desert. See what correlations you can pull up between Fort Lesker and this guy, Max. Let me know when you've got anything. I'm being blocked. What? By who? Department of Defense. I can't pull anything up on Fort Lesker. Yes? Put him through. Mr. President. Sir, we have reason to believe that the man responsible not only for the attempt on your life, but also for the attempt on the Vice President's life is currently engaged in terrorist activity on American soil. What is this terrorist activity? We're not sure, sir, but we think it involves a military facility northeast of Los Angeles called Fort Lesker. What? It's been shut down for quite some time. We think otherwise, sir. Everything points to Fort Lesker being involved somehow, but the Defense Department has all file access blocked. Sir, we need permission to access those files. 
Without them, we have nothing. I am giving you permission, Agent Almeida. But you had better be correct. Thank you, sir. Get to work. Are you making any progress yet? We don't have much time left. Power. I have the information you need on Fort Lesker. It's a series of labs handling primarily weapons-grade plutonium that's been seized or confiscated. What do you mean? Well, if the U.S. government catches a ship carrying illegal weapons, much less weapons-grade plutonium, it'll seize the shipments and house them in the States. And that's the connection between Max and Fort Lesker? There's more. We just got word from Dr. Wright that the magnitude of the earthquake was 8.7, and the epicenter was 43 miles northeast of Los Angeles. Where Fort Lesker is located. It means the military facility would have been hit hard, Security would have been little to none for the first several hours. Max wants the plutonium. He's going to force Bob Warner into a trade. Kate for the shipments. I know where Kate Warner is. We need to tell Jack. The last thing we need is Jack being distracted. No one tells Jack about this until his mission is ended. Is that understood? Trucks this way. Where are we heading? Just drive. Jack. Where the hell are we going? 
just drive. I told you I'd let you know when we get there. That's messed up. I mean, we took the 15, and that exit into what was it? Saugus? Silvis. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. The only reason I took this job was because Virgil said you were a cool guy. This isn't cool. You want to know? I'll tell you. We're going to pick up something from some military building out here. Now, I don't know what we're picking up, and I don't care. Now you know, so shut up and drive. Desler. Chase is headed to Fort Lesker. I need you to get a visual on the truck he's driving. It's somewhere outside of Silvis. I think I found him. I can upload the tracking to your GPS. You'll have a constant visual of his location. Okay, do it. I've got to get to him. He's my only way onto the base. I'm here to do a pickup. Okay, I'll just check the log. The following takes place between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. Not too many guards. Some lab workers. Be clear. Now, Sonny left his radio. It'll be on the tailgate.
first shipment is loaded and ready to head out. Good. Any word from Max? No, sir, not yet. Ambassador's gonna let me do all the work. I can get... No. I took over this base. I take care of the first load. Yes, sir. Taking over the base. What? Everyone here, they're all working for Madsen. He just took off. Madsen was here? Yeah. Said something about taking the first shipment. He's heading to the docks. See what else you can find. Get back to me. Yeah. This is a restricted area. I was told to report here. By who? Madsen. All right, do what you need to do and get out. I need you to initiate the radiation strand sequence level. Go to hell! I need to initiate a base lockdown. Tell me yeah. how I can make that happen. Go to the main control room. You... You have to use the proper sequence. Sequence, it's yellow, blue, green, red. Unique. Stay with me. Oh. Stay with me. Damn it! Chase, do you read me? Go ahead. Do you know where the main control room is? Yeah, I do. But I can't get there with my current clearance. Find a way. Break cover if you need to, but find a way. You need to initiate a base lockdown. I want nothing to enter. I want nothing to exit. Copy. Can't go this way. Damn you! Intruder! Oh. 
son of a bitch! Kill me! I want you to initiate a lockdown. Uh, Do it! Now! It's initiated. All units to the blue sector control room. I repeat, all units to the blue sector control room. You son of a bitch. Jack, I'm here with the alarm's been tripped. I don't have much time. Here's what you do. There should be four terminals, each identified by a different color. The terminal sequence is yellow, blue, green, red. Do you copy? Yellow, blue, green, red. I copy. Use your PDA to crack the lockdown codes, but you must use the correct terminal sequence or the codes will be rejected. I understand. Thank <laughs> you. 
initiated. Jack, the lockdown has been initiated. Nothing's coming in or going out. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. I can't. The main control room only has one exit, and right now there's no way I can make it out. My cover's been blown. They know I'm here. You go ahead. Chase, I'm coming to get you. He's over there! Chase, let's get out of here. I saw a helicopter outside. We need to head there. We should get to the vehicle ramp. It looks like the quickest route.
Chase, you bypass the door security, I'll cover you.
What are you doing here? <clears throat> Plutonium to the docks. We need to get there now. I trust you've arrived. Yeah. The first ship's being unloaded right now. Everything's going as planned. There's been an incident at the military base. This one shipment will have to suffice. Is Warner cooperating? Yes. He lost one daughter last year. He doesn't want to lose another. Customs won't be a problem. The following takes place between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. We're approaching the docks now. Copy that, Jack. We're sending back up now. We'll be there shortly. Have a chopper standing by. I'm gonna see if I can help Jack. Tony, can I have a word? Yeah, what is it? Kate Warner's there. What are you talking about? We got a call from her about an hour and a half ago. She's on a ship off Ports of Call. She's on Max's ship. Does Jack know that? No. I can't believe you. You know as well as I do that Kate Warner is a significant part of this. So pull your head out of your ass and start thinking about the situation and not about protocol. We 
can set down over there. CTU assault teams are nearly at your position, setting down in approximately 30 seconds. Be on the north dockside jetty. I copy. Chase, you go with the assault team and sweep the ship. I'll go after Madsen. Hey, Jack. Might as well give this one up. You're outmanned, outgunned. You can't win here, Jack. Is this all for the girl? What's your name? Kate? Is that why you're here? She's been taken care of either way. And just so you know, you did good with that one, Jack. She knows when to just shut up and take what's given to her. Stop! Right there!
This is it, Jack! You think I'm done? Not even close! Full ahead. We're done here. What about the girl? I'll take care of the girl. We were able to pull more information on Max. It turns out he's an arms dealer with ties to the Middle East. He had deals with several terrorist organizations, and after the U.S. found out about the dealings, they stepped in. The deals fell through. And when Max couldn't deliver, they forced Max to watch his own children be executed. This is his way of getting back at the United States. I'm gonna try to land on the ship. Just get me close enough to the deck. You don't need to land. It's CTU. Be ready for them when they get here. Yes, sir. Intruder! Engaging. doing here.
me, you bastard! Jack, I can see Max. He must be heading to that speedboat. He's got Kate. We can't let him get away. Cover me! What are you Away, Jack. I'll shoot her. You You've got nowhere to run. Give up now. Just shoot him. Let her go. Jack. You all right? Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay now. Jack! <clears throat> Jack! It's okay, I'll be fine. Get you to a hospital. It's all right. It's not that bad. We need to get to a hospital now. 